Queensland's Parliament House has flung open its doors to celebrate the building's 150th birthday. Thousands packed into the corridors of power to hear stories of our rich colonial history. It had all the pomp and ceremony of yesteryear. The governor and his wife arriving in horse and buggy, just like at the original opening. The town crier turned up. as did a bevy of beauties in their colonial best. Yes, we all have our corsets on today, girls. Thousands packed into the corridors of power to see where the laws are made in Parliament. They got to sit in the Premier's chair and the deputies. If I was actually Depu Deputy Premier, I would feel happy, I'd feel proud by myself. Plenty were impressed by the architecture. Wow, it was, it's pretty amazing, it takes your breath away actually. And they got to see a fourth generation stonemason at work. Great grandfather. He actually came in the 60s when and did a dilapidation report. $20 million of restoration has brought the building back to its former glory, but ghosts still walk the corridors. We did have a speaker who, uh, who did uh, uh, shoot himself when you're the only one in it. Uh, it. It has the ability to give you the heebie jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> but today was a birthday celebration for young. So what about being a politician? No. <laughs> and old. You look beautiful. Thank you very much, Mum. It also was a celebration of women who first got to sit in the house in 1929 and finally got to wear slacks in the mid-1980s. They lobbied for it, not for fashion, but because the chamber was so cold. We all know who Queensland's longest serving Premier was, Sir Joe Bjorki peterson but what about the shortest? Well, in fact, it was Labor's Andrew Dawson, who in 1899 lasted just six days. So I think what happens is uh, you know, a week is a long time in politics, and in this case, they didn't even make it to a week. Bygone days of our heritage living on for generations to come. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.